Be prepared for offensive language. Tier 1. Seven All-Stars. I'm back, bitches. I signed up to wind people up. I think it might be a house from hell. What I want, I get. Shit. Nightmare housemate, Heidi and Spencer. You thought we played the game well last time. You have not seen anything yet. And seven new stars. Let's have it. I'm a grown boss. I'm ready to go in there and take Big Brother by the balls. I'm the big dog. I don't like to get mugged off. I'm never a bitch just because. It's a justifiable bitch moment. Thank you very much. Bye. The producers plot their next move. Give the name of the second new star that the producers want to edit out. The problem is with these kind of things is that everyone's going to be upset. We're just like lambs to the slaughter a little bit. And Stacey's under attack. I'm sorry, Bianca, as a producer, oh, your talent, you shouldn't you... be talking to her. There's rules. I think you're getting a thrill no, out no. of that. There's rules. <laughs> You just came over here confrontational to me. No, I was, I'm not being confrontational. I wish we could have edited Stacey right out the front door. She had a bad attitude. Day one. 9.12 p.m. Celebrity Big Brother is back. And with a pop art makeover for the house, come some celebrity housemates. First up are all-star celebrity housemates Heidi and Spencer. Oh, my God. James Jordan. Please be someone in here. <laughs> and Jasmine Waltz. Here we go. This is so rad. But all is not as it seems. The All-Stars have become Big Brother's producers and are now watching on from their secret production office. Brilliant. Is it just me? They'll watch all the new stars arrive decide who's least entertaining and edit them out. If it weren't for his dick, oh, there would be no Kardashian. <laughs> Whoever they choose <laughs> will be excluded from tasks and key moments in the house. He's not getting edited out. Next to enter is Bianca Gascoigne. One of your songs is my favorite. Oh, yeah? One wish. Now you got it. She has a lot of potential. Yeah. She's definitely not getting edited out. No. Yeah, no, no. no. Especially not in that dress. dress. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> the next all-star housemate to enter is Austin Armacost. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. 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 Well, cheers, cheers all -star. <laughs> Mr. Cheers. Producer. Welcome okay. to the production team. Oh, is this the producer's room? Yeah. We get to edit someone out. This is our show that we're watching. For real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Colleen Norland is the next all-star housemate to join her fellow producers. Hello, darling! We have another producer. Oh, my God. You are right? <sighs> yeah? That's oh, worth it. it. No, no, no disrespect, but it's nice to have another Brit here as well. Oh. <laughs> the next new star housemate to enter is James Cosmo. Pleasure Hello, Bianca. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I like him. I, like I don't him. know if he's going to be the most entertaining, but I think he seems like but a really nice guy. Yeah, I like him. Next in is singer Stacey Francis. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Okay. Do they know each other? So... Looks like it. Brandon Block. Hey, hey. Hi. How, How are you, are you doing, mate? They're friends because he DJs at her strip club, I bet. Uh. <laughs> Joining the All Stars is glamour model Nicola McLean. Welcome Hello. to the producers. Look at that gorgeous dress. Uh, I'm Nicola. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. 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 Hi.
Yes, give it to me. Thank you so much. Was that exciting? Do you know what? I'm just so nervous. What have I got? I am so excited to be in here with you. Oh, wow. You're one of my favourite housemates ever. Wow, thank you. God Absolutely bless your heart. Loved watching you. So. Oh, oh, that is so lovely to hear. Next new star is footballer Jimmy O'Hara. Has he done this before, yeah? No. No, 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 no this is no. Hang on a minute. We're all no. Oh, no. Oh, God. That might mean that they're going to, like, play games on us. They're going to play games, for sure. See, I think he's a nice guy. Footballers have got great banter, yeah, mate. on the pitch. Yeah, no, they've got good banter. The last all-star to enter is Callum Best. We're back, We're back in the game! <laughs> Hello, my dear. How are you? You all right? Yeah. All good? Good to see you. Oh, you too. Come here. What Callum doesn't know is that the final new star to enter is his mum, Angie Best. Oh, my God, is that my... Oh, hello! Hi, how are you doing? Hello, beautiful. How are you? Oh, my God, it's my mother! That's your mum! No! <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh Angie, that, I can vouch that is, that is Callum's mum. Wow. How are you? Oh, good, thank Hi, you. I'm and Stacey. This is, hello. hello. Stacey Very nice and to meet you. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, but then one more. Mwah. Mate, mate, your mum's in the house. I'm joking. Nice to meet you. You're right. Mm. Oh my god. Hello, Brandon. Nice what? to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Oh, bless her. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, bless her. <laughs> but shoot me now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stepmom, stepmom. No, my mother. So like my cute. mother, dude. Here we are. Yeah. Here we are, indeed. Oh, no. Yeah. I get to meet Mom? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> not edited out. No, yeah, Mom's, no. Mom, Mom's not getting Can't out edit, of it. edit Mom out. Callum Best is my son. Oh, okay. oh it's Andrew Best. Best. Very cool. For my sins. Look at his face. Look at this. This is amazing. This is Big Brother. All star producers. All evening, you have been watching your new star housemates enter the Big Brother house judging them on their ability to offer the most dramatic and entertaining episodes. You now have 20 seconds to decide amongst yourselves which new star you would like to edit out. So, I mean, if he's saying who's going to be the most entertaining, I think Stacey will be very entertaining, so I'm kind of doubting my But will my she be more now. entertaining because she's going to be pissed off that she's edited so out? So yeah. But what if that means she's gone? No, that... James J, stand up. State the name of the housemate that the producers would like to edit out. Oh, OK, so who are we deciding then? Because for me, it would be it, it would be Stacey, but you'd think no. So who thinks Stacey? Stacey? Just put your hands up. Stacey. So they just said the least entertaining. Stacey's not the least entertaining. I think I know, Jamie O'Hara. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Okay. Big Brother needs a decision now. We are going to go with Stacey. What? Yeah, you're all right, babes. Honestly. You're not going home. Stace? You're just special. You're, you're just... Your special stays. I'm not staying in the cold. That is not happening. That is harsh. I cannot sit in the cold. Ten fifty-seven p.m. The producers are getting ready to meet the new stars. It's been five minutes since Stacey was edited out of the show. Stacey and Rhea Jir have met before and were caught up in the controversy surrounding the death of Whitney Houston. Right, is everything okay with you? You with me and Stacey? Because mm, obviously oh. I sent something. Yeah. Cool. Everything's cool. She just... seemed a bit upset, and I was like, I feel bad. Yeah, like, yeah. she's come in I, well, upset, and then she's gone out there. So I just wanted to... Did yeah. you not know she was coming in? I didn't know. Um, I didn't know. Is she an old friend of yours? Yeah. OK. Oh, that's so, nice. Friend of the family. That's good, then. Like, the whole family. Oh, that's fantastic. But that's it was... Awesome. We, we got... We was... We, we had... We experienced something real deep, you know? Yeah, I, I, I can I can sense I saw that like yeah. You saw, yeah yeah it was something happened. So I just feel like she's already had a bit of a hard time. Yeah, something happened, but it was a tragic thing too. Oh, oh really? Oh god, yeah. tragic. Oh dear, yeah. sorry man. 
Is she okay, do you think? Yeah, yeah I, I think she's okay. I think she's a little upset. Oh, really? After you. Hello. Oh, hello, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Guys? Hi. 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 Jasmine, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm nice hello. To <laughs> what? Mate, first of all, first of all, my mom's here. I know. What are they playing at? Love it, Love it though. Love it though. I mean, I mean, are you high? Oh my god, woman. Oh my god, woman. Well, you must be so crazy. Oh, I felt so bad not telling you. I, I want to disown you as a mother. I know. I'm going to disown you. I know. <laughs> Hi, I'm not met you. Hello, I'm Colleen. Hi, pleased to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Your VT was brilliant. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. And actually, I don't know you, but you did. Oh. Oh, my. But. I don't know. I feel bad for her now. She's out there. They won't let her in. And she's upset because she has something to do with this Ray boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a tragic history together. Yeah. Family, he said. Oh, deep, deep. Yeah, so as soon as she saw him, she wanted to go straight to the diary room, diary room because she was upset. Oh, I haven't met you soon. Oh, bless so. me. Hello, darling. I know how you feel. No, you My don't. first four days in this house was in a basement. It's the name of the game. We're all going to be punished. I definitely don't think you're the least entertaining. But at this time, we need you to sit in the edited out seat. You can bring all this blanket stuff. Why do I have to sit there? I'm so cold. Producers never have a reason for talent. That's not fair. TV is never fair. I'm so cold. This is fresh. The only reason that I couldn't even speak when I came in here was because I looked at Ray J and I was like, oh my God, Ray is here. And I couldn't even talk. So I had to be quiet. I wanted to cry because they brought him here and I was in shock. And now I'm being doubly punished. Hey, we didn't vote for you. I know, but it, it's past that. It's not even, we're here gonna be, in a blessed world, we're gonna be here five weeks. This is just one night. I'm telling you, this is better than the basement. It just was so hard, like, walking in. Like, I wasn't going to do a tap dance when I saw him. I don't want him to be here with me. It's OK. You know what we learned is not to let other people it's not affect fair. us. Yeah. And now I'm in the cold, and my throat is going to be messed up. And I'm, I'm a singer. I don't want to be in the cold. Do, would you like to wear my jacket? You think that'll help you? No, thank Here, you. why don't you hold some it's pretty, pillows? It's warm. We'll keep you, you want, warm. You want to put it over your, your sweatshirt? No, Let's thanks. keep you warm. It could be worse. That's what you got to realize about Big Brother. It's going to get worse. Oh, Stacy. Oh, it's lovely. Coming up, Heidi and Stacy's war of words. I'm not even trying to have this kind of conversation with you. But you started it, boo. Wait, I heard you yelling at me over across there. I, I wasn't was talking, talking to you. And for offensive language. <laughs> 11 32 p.m. Heidi wants to know about GMC's career. I don't want to mistake it or misquote it. Which part of Game of Thrones were you on? Because we watch it. I did the first three seasons. I played, oh, I played Lord Mormont, the, the commander of the Night Watch. That's what I thought it was the Night Watch. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah. Jon Snow, the Night Watch. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what yeah, I thought. Well, thank okay, you for cool. blessing us with your superstar. Cool. Yeah. You're great. We love that show. Yeah. Congratulations. Dear, yeah, good. Yeah. Stacey is talking to Big Brother about being edited out. I just felt like it was really unfair because, you know, if it's like being entertaining, like when I came in, it was very shocking. Like when I saw Ray, I got very emotional and it was just, I kind of shut down a little bit and I kind of regret that because I really didn't want my moment with him to be in that moment. You know, I didn't want it to be like the screaming. I wanted, when I have a talk with him, I want it to be like a real talk. So. I just didn't know what to do. So then to get like 
kicked out then at that moment too on top of being in the house with Ray J. I was like, for fuck's sake, really? <laughs> like seeing him walking in, not knowing, okay, do I have this talk now? Cause I really need to have a heart to heart with him. But do I have it now when like all this excitement is going on or when I can have like a real moment with him? Like that's important to me, like to make sure that it's the right time. <laughs> So then to like get edited out, like I just got in here. I just want to have fun. And I want, I want people to know that I am upbeat and I am fun. I'm not like whatever they said, the least bit entertaining. Like that's some bullshit. Stacey, you just mentioned that you'd like to have a heart to heart with Ray J. I do, I want to Why have would you like to have a heart to heart with because Ray J? Because he threw me under the bus. When people in America tried to make me out to be something I wasn't, he never stood up for me. And I just want to know why he never said anything. Like, I just want to know, you know, why wouldn't he, when Pat Houston's, um, Whitney Houston's sister Pat went on the Oprah show and said that I was stalking Whitney in the club. I was not. We all were standing there talking and having a good time, and she was standing right there. And he knows that. He knows the events of the whole night. He never said, you know, this is a friend of my family, and I've known Ray and his family for over 15 years. He never came to bat for me, and... I just wish that he would have had, like, the heart to just be like, look, she wasn't stalking with in the club. You know, this is my friend. I've known her for many years. She even lived with me and my sister. It was a hard time for me and my kids and my family. I lost everything. And Ray was, like, a key character in that event. He knows what it was. He never, he just never said anything. If you were a producer, who would you have edited out? I think I would have edited out Ray. Because I want Ray in the cold right now. Because Ray fucked with me and he wasn't nice to me. I would have been like, bye, Ray. Get outside. Sit down. Go sit down, Ray. Be quiet for the rest of the night. <laughs> and I'm not after Ray. But Ray just, he owes me a conversation. Ugh, so freaking annoying. <laughs> not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. <laughs> It sucks! Eleven forty-eight p.m. Stacy's been edited out for fifty-six minutes. Big Brother has not set any rules about talking to edited out housemates. Hi. Hello. Are you okay, honey? Okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be talking to you guys. Though. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Is that right that we're not allowed to talk? Or I don't know. Because you're producers, we can or not? Stay. Did they say that I couldn't? Hmm. Did they say that I could? Because obviously they're like the producers or whatever. Oh, I don't know. That's oh, fine. I don't mind getting in trouble for you. You're okay? so sweet. <coughs> I'm You're... fine, I just don't understand why I'm in this position. Yeah. It's really hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Bianca, as a producer, oh. your talent, I didn't know you shouldn't the... be talking okay, to her. Okay, I didn't know See? the rules. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't I'm know sorry. the rules. It's okay. Okay. But another another so one of these girl. mistakes, you probably will be docked. Okay. Just let you know. I... Yeah, no, I didn't know the rules. Yeah, I've like... been told. Spencer is playing a serious I'll game I'll just sit here and mind my own business. It's just business here. Eleven fifty-four p.m. Austin is telling James about his recent marriage breakdown. Yeah, at the end of the day, I just go right. It, it was him as well. I mean, we got together when we were twenty. Now we're both almost thirty. You just want different things, you know. I feel like you you know who you are when you're in your twenties. Correct. You become you become a man yeah. over your twenties. Yeah. You make dumbass mistakes, and then you go right. Let me learn from that. In my thirties, I'm going to be a much better person. And that's what I've done, and that's what he did. And we just go, I, we just really didn't like each other anymore. Spencer is given Stacy some advice. I'm telling you from a producer's standpoint, this show's insane. Like, it's a good, like, you now you gotta be. So you're already getting the, the skin, you know, that toughness, that, uh, It's In the long run, you're gonna be, you already are ahead of the game right now. They already broke you down a little bit. Where everyone else is, this is so fun. You're, you are, it may not feel like you're in the lead, but you're in the lead. Does that make a little sense? It's hard to see it now, but everyone's gonna be in a bad spot and you started in it. 
So you already have the advantage because it's only going to be easier from here on out. It's not fun. So as soon as you realize this game, and not like, let's just chill. I didn't come in thinking it was just oh, let's oh. chill, so. Boom, you got it then. Make a lot of assumptions. Spencer. I'm not, I'm just stating what people would think. No, I didn't think that. Oh, I apologize then. It's okay. Let me know if you need anything. I Nobody will. else is asking, so. Well, you won't let anyone else talk to no, me. No, the producers, so I think you, there's rules. I think you're getting a thrill no, out no, of that. There's rules. The producers are the only ones that are supposed to talk to you. <sighs> so all these other producers are choosing not to ask you anything. That's the rules of the game right now. Only producers are allowed to speak with you because you're at it out. So all these people that have the producer title, which is way more than me, are choosing not to even talk to you. So you take it as I'm having fun, but really I'm asking, is there something I can go do? Or, but I'm know? okay, though. Oh, great. So it's so, okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God, Spencer. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer. Where are we going with this, Spencer? He is one I have to look out for, obviously. Twelve ten a.m. Austin has come to the diary room to speak to Big Brother. There's some great oldies. There's some great newbies. I'm very excited. Um, but there's already people who I just am not looking forward at all to spending the next however long I may be in here. I don't want to jinx myself. Um, I said when I came in, right, I'm going to give Heidi and Spencer the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give them an opportunity to prove to me that they are decent people. But already, I think Spencer's a complete dickhead. So it's very unfortunate that this has started off this way because I didn't want it to. But we've seen Spidey on these shows and we know what to expect. And he's proven me right. Now I'm just waiting for her to prove me right. I think it is only a matter of probably hours until she says something where I go, that's right, you are a bitch. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because you know what? <clears throat> the last couple of seasons of Big Brother that I've seen, everyone seems to have had a good time and had a good cast. And there's always one bad seed that will ruin the, the b basket. Fortunately, we didn't have one massive dark cloud hanging over my series. We seem to have that dark cloud in Heidi and Spencer now, already. It's been hours and already they're starting to, to you know, separate from the group, divide away. Spencer's already said, yeah, I, love, I love winding people up and I love making great TV. And unfortunately, probably, <laughs> um, as long as I last, I presume they're gonna last uh, because that is what, what makes good television. Jimmy is curious about Spencer. There's some people out there saying you're, you're like that guy. What does that mean? If I was that guy, that would be like the guy who's going to stir the shit up. And... Oh, no, I retired that personality. Yeah. I've grown up. It's been a long time. How so long was it since you lost life? It's been four years. You retired what personality? What? Is the talent speaking with the producer? Oh. What do you say? Yeah, what do you I say? am. What do you say? I just wonder what he said. He said he retired a personality. I was wondering which one he meant. The one you haven't met. Oh, I think I have. You have not met. Why are the... you so upset with Spencer? I don't understand. I'm not upset with him. I just ask him what. Don't, I don't assume. I'm, she doesn't I'm not like upset. when you assume things. Heidi, I'm not upset. I ask him which which personality did he retire? I must. I have split personality disorder. I think so. I don't know which one you have met. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I know, but when he was over here, it seems like you just don't want to talk to him and you're a little bit upset with him. Do not imply something that's not there. That's not fair to me. Because that's the implication that you're making. That's not true. OK, So great. here we start this whole game. Right, that's I a game. I don't what you're doing is a game. any kind of game. No, you're starting a game. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. It's definitely not. a game, because I didn't do anything that was upsetting. I just don't want my husband coming over here and you're stuck in a chair and if you don't want to talk to him, I don't no, want him to it wasn't like... about me not wanting to talk to him. I'm sitting in a chair, not Irritating. even talking. 
well, you would be irritated too. Of course. You wouldn't be very tap dancing in a chair. No, of course so not. So that has nothing to do with him personally. Right, okay. But you're making so, it hey. personal. So you're going to come over me like, oh, you're my husband and protective about your husband. And you're making it something it ain't. No, so like, I don't, don't do want that. him to make it personal. So you just came over here confrontational to me. No, I, I'm not being confrontational. And if you feel that way, then I apologize that you feel that way. Okay. I don't want to have a problem with you. Okay, either. I don't want to have a problem either. Okay, there great. was never a problem. Okay, great. There's you made never a problem. problem. All right, then I apologize. And it's like, I get the reality show game and I get that you're probably really expert at I'm it. Not but don't put something there that ain't there. I don't have a gripe with him. I don't have a gripe with you. I don't know you. I don't I don't know you. I'm not even trying to have this kind of conversation with you. But you started it, boo. Wait, I heard you yelling at me across, across there. I, I wasn't was talking to you. It. Well then I apologize for the misinterpretation. I don't want to have a problem with you. Well, and I, I got it. And I appreciate you. that and I truly accept your apology and okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Twelve thirty one AM. Colleen is explaining her family background to Stacey and Angie. Well, I'm from a singing family. Oh, you are? Me and my oh, sisters nice. all sang sing? together, yeah. Oh, we gotta sing something. Not together. like you, but yeah. How Hi. many of you were there? Six sisters. And, you and we all started together. off. Yeah, well, my whole family did. My mum, dad, two brothers. And oh, we, nice. And we were like England's Von Trapp family. We were. Oh, nice. That's amazing. And then. Then the, my mum and dad stepped down and my brothers left, and it was just the girls. So then we were labelled the British girl Osmonds. Nice. Oh. So we used to have, every bad. time the Osmonds were here, we used to, they used to get pictures of the, oh, all of nice. us together, yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, and then it, the four of us then went on to do hit records and stuff. Oh, nice. Four of us so for years and years and years. Yeah, well, I was 15. Wow. When I first joined. Oh, you've been in the industry a long time. Yeah. Um, but it. we did a big reunion tour in 2009. It was the best thing we ever did. Right. Oh. But then one of my sisters sadly got breast cancer and passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. And they wanted to do another tour, and I said I can't. I can't do it without her. Yeah. I just felt I just couldn't do it without her. It just wouldn't feel right. Yeah. Nicola and Jamie are talking about Jamie's ex-wife Danielle Lloyd. Couldn't tell her about this, so. I emailed her like last minute and was like, obviously I'm negotiating, I'm going to be unavailable for a few weeks, so I'll just catch up with the boys when I can. She was like, make sure you don't talk about me. I was like, wow, fuck, cheers. Thanks for the uh, support. Was you like that with Tom? Yeah, I was really nasty. Was ya? Yeah. There's nothing like a woman's scorn, I guess, is there? Yeah. Yeah, but you stuck it out, though. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage, marriage, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, and I'm, I'm massive on that as well, believing that as well, yeah, 100%. But, listen, it's, it's a hard one, and everyone's situation's different. Yeah, 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 of course. And, no, listen, I, had, I, I mean, I don't know you and Tom's relationship, but mine was wild, you know what I mean? And it was like a kind of footballer, Young kid, had everything, money, doing nice things all the time, and then you just think, ah, oh, fuck it. And then when you actually like now, I sit back and look at some of the things, I'm like, what a fucking prick. It's hard, isn't it? It's really hard. I think when when you fucked over, why should you be reasonable? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Why yeah. should I be reasonable? Yeah. You weren't, so I'm not going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but, I get that. I totally get that. But I, I don't know. I, so I spent my time doing, you know, nasty shit back. But not, not with the kids. But I would have, wouldn't have been happy to share my kids because it weren't me that decided to betray the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know how it would have worked. Luckily, we found a place where we could make it work. Yeah. And I'm so, yeah, and that's good though. so yeah. fucking happy we can. Because I adore him. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, yeah, he's a cannon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's a cannon. But I think he's learning finally. He's growing up with his footballers. I swear it's footballers. You no, we're not so all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, the producers pile on the pressure. Oh, God. It's us again. Here we go. Are they deliberating on us again? Oh, God. Oh, God. Knows God. What's happening. We're fucked. Prepared for offensive language. Twelve forty three AM. Rear J has come to talk to Big Brother. It seems like people want to ask me stuff or ask me some questions about me. What kind of questions do you think they are eager to ask? 
Um, just all of the controversial shit I've probably been in. I don't know, the sex tape and um, people see the wedding ring, so they're like, okay, I don't, is he married? Um, and that kind of stuff. So I'm ready, I'm ready to tell everybody everything, you know what I mean? It's all good. This is about to give people a real chance to see me in my most loudest form, but my most polite form as well, because I'm crazy and I party and I like to have a good time, but my respect level for human mankind is way up there. So I think once people see that, they like, oh shit, he really cool, as opposed to just always seeing me stunting or being loud or rolling around in a nice car talking shit, I think they can kind of see when I get to the house, you know, I'm very respectable. And um, and my mom and dad really raised me to, 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 to respect my elders and everybody around. Earlier, the producers were told by Big Brother that they must edit out another housemate tonight. They've gathered themselves in the garden to discuss their decision. I re-nominate Stacy. Renominate. Yes. Double, double, double. What, what did she say to me? She was just so rude. I went over there and I was trying to be nice and she's like, you're causing problems. I'm like, I, I'm just saying, what is your, I don't understand what, what is going on? I'm so confused. She's like, I do think you were stirring it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's stirring it now. He's stirring it now. Don't even listen to it. Don't even listen, don't even listen to it. All I said is I said, I told my husband to not talk to you because he seemed like he's bothering you. You just made that up. Okay, well, you told him to leave you alone. I don't know. Yeah, I think he was out of order. I was definitely bothering you. I'm just trying to help. I don't know. Kimmy okay, loves it. I just love it. It's the funniest shit I'm I've so, ever seen. I just don't know. Tonight. It's us again. What are they doing? Oh, God. It's us again. Here we are go. Are they deliberating on us again? Oh, my God. Oh, no, God. What's happening? We're fucked. We're just like lambs to the slaughter a little bit, aren't we? Yeah. We <laughs> are. Yeah, it's literally what it is. The person we edit out it ends up being the most relevant person, so we're not even dissing them. Do you think, what's his name would be bothered? Jay, Ray. Uh, Ray, yeah, but there's something going on with her and him. Yeah, they oh. don't want to sit next to each other. <laughs> Maybe then we should <laughs> let no, them do that. Not, <laughs> not on day one. Not on day one. No, that's out of order. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already being evil. One twenty-two a.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. Producers, you're about to edit out a second new star. You now have 20 seconds to discuss who you would like to pick. One by one's fairest, right? We don't have 20 seconds, you already talk fast. So go, who, who do you think? Uh, I love movie stars, but I'm not sure how they are as reality stars, so the lovely super movie star, James. OK. Um, I would pick James purely because I think James would be quite happy to not talk to us. <laughs> awesome. James. James. Nicola. I say same as Colleen for that exact reason because I don't think you'd care. Okay. In a nice way. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I don't think you'll care either. I don't so... think you'll be offended. Producers, yes. your time is up. Austin, stand up. Austin, give the name of the second new star that the producers want <coughs> to edit out, giving reasons for your choice. Well, as we've all said, James, you are a lovely guy. Um, I think that there aren't people that you've interacted with in the first couple of hours and purely on that basis. Fair enough. James C. Yeah. You have been edited out. OK. You should now make your way to the storeroom, collect the your edited room. out right. chair okay. and sit next to Stacey. OK. Where's the storeroom? Oh, Trooper. All oh, right, yeah. Good man. The problem is with this kind of things is that everyone's going to be upset at some point. <coughs> I was upset when my mom walked in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be voting you out I first. You oh, hey. Hey. It works, it works. Oh. I'll see you later. Oh. <laughs> Come on over here, boo. Oh. That's it. I'm glad that it's not We're one. We're a very exclusive club. Wait, yes, right. exactly. Yeah. I'm glad it's not one, Come on, one Richard, person. Come on, Richard, you got to yeah. put your chin back. Yes. There we go. All right. He can deal with it. I think we're out now. One twenty-nine a.m. Brandon is talking to all-star housemates Colleen, James J, and Callum about their previous time in the house. Everyone says they love oh, to stay in here. I like to stay in. I didn't want to go out. Really, I was so And I really excited. missed it when I went out. Yeah, but I'm with. Really? Them. Did you get to the? Where did you come? 
Second. Second. Ooh. So you come Ooh. second, Ooh. you experience the whole thing, Ooh. and then no, you go. No, <laughs> for, me, for me, that was brilliant. I mm. loved it. Yeah. I loved my experience. But I was happy to leave. Yeah, I just you? like I mean, to. If I'm going to do leave? something, I like to experience the whole yeah. thing. Same as me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying I want to go. I want to still get to the end mm. and experience the whole thing. Yeah. You probably won't, though. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> In the living area, Austin has a conversation starter for his fellow housemates. 99.5% of people that I know, I can't. I can name one person in my life that I knew that has that has foreskin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. Oh my god, the timing Fun on that fact. was insane. <laughs> that was just epic. Wow. This I... is Big Brother. The storeroom is now open for housemates to collect refreshments and canapes. The edited out housemates are not permitted to eat or drink any of these items. Oh my god. What are, are Ooh, suitcases that in right there? spread? Whoa. Oh. No, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not even hungry, which oh, is really good. It worked out great. Two eighteen a.m. Most of the housemates are in the kitchen. The thing is, I see these people who like pre-pack meals. Seven I know. Days I've got I'm friends like, who do I it. I cannot be bothered with that. Heidi and Spencer are talking to Big Brother. Thank you, Big Brother, for having us back. You know, I apologize for not winning last time. It was our bad. One thing I learned being an all-star is do not take the show personally and treat everyone the same and have a great time and at the end of the day nominate them and hope they lose quickly. So I'm just not taking things personally, so I'm trying to trying to get along great with everyone. <laughs> Do you stand by the decision to edit out Stacy? I wish we could have edited Stacy right out the front door. She's got a bad <laughs> attitude, you know. She's going straight on my number one nomination list. Like, don't cop attitude. She's ice skating on a broken, frozen lake right now. Two thirty-six a.m. Big Brother has opened the bedroom for housemates to choose their beds. Oh shit! Everyone's off. Mama, I'll save you something. This is amazing. <laughs> I really like look? that one. Here we go. Mother, I'll save you something. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to share. Oh, oh who's having this one? Oh, they pick, they pick oh, <laughs> Mother, I no, need to get her something. Oh, you yeah. should go there. Yeah. Mother, I'll save you one. <laughs> Reid years asleep on the sofa. Oh, you're going to share? Well, they're going to well, share. Well, I should this one first, but I got scared of Heidi. Heidi scared me earlier. No, you're sharing uh. with me. Well, I had picked this one first, first, but Heidi scared me. Oh, it's so God. funny. It's oh, me and not you, too. Two guys, two girls, two guys. Simple as that, really. Me and this one? Me and Stacey were going to share that. OK. Because I wasn't quick enough so to let's, 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 let's one Make space too few. Well, Ray J's yeah. fucked because he's not in here, so people take Ray your Jay shit. He fell asleep. I'm sorry, yeah, but, like... One, so. He would... said the floor was chill with him. Is there not enough beds he said, for Oh, there's a fucking king size. Coming up, who's on Angie's hit list? He's a slippery one, that boy. But he's no match for me. <laughs> Two fifty one. A.M. Some of the housemates are discussing sleeping arrangements. There's no way Ray can sleep on that couch forevermore. I've moved in with Brandon. Oh, and you've and who's he sleeping with? Well, him? he can sleep with um, Austin. Austin. And is he all right with that? I think he didn't. I mean, for whatever reason, Austin said I wouldn't sleep with Brandon. Oh. So I don't mind. I don't care. Oh, so he didn't want to sleep with Brandon. Brandon. I, I like sleep with Brandon. I think he's. So Ray cool. didn't want to sleep with, with Brandon. I think he's really cool. Yeah. I don't mean I'd sleep with Brandon. But he would sleep yeah. with a gay boy. It won't bother me. Huh? So he want to sleep with the 
the boy that wants to, the gay boy. Say that. Isn't Austin gay? Yeah. So he's okay with that? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care either. I'm, I I'm wouldn't straight. I care. I'm straight. He's gay. Nothing's going to happen, okay. is it? I wouldn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I know, I'm being sarcastic. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, Everybody's sorry. so serious. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry, it's because you're American. I didn't realise you had humour. <laughs> Angie is talking to Big Brother about her housemates. I think Heidi and Hubby. No. Oh, I've forgotten his name already. This be Spiegels, Spiegels. They have a game plan because they want to win. Um, and when somebody's uh, competitive like that, it kind of makes the competitive in me come out. But I don't know how to play the game. So I'm going to have to put a little thinking behind all this nonsense. He's a slippery one, that boy. So I'll have to keep an eye on him. But he's no match for me. <laughs> I love it. Uh... 3.12 a.m. Most of the housemates are in bed. <laughs> Bianca and Austin are having a gossip. Miss Gascoigne, yes. what do you think about um, Heidi Pratt coming into the house? I like how Evvisor Pratt, but. I think they're actually really nice. I do, don't you? I do. Yeah. Well, and that's well, why. Her, that's, not, that's not, why him, I, not him. Her. I think him more than her. You think he's nice? Are you fucking mental? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I've mean, not thought that one. I'm not being funny, but how do you think he's nice? I, I just he's do. He's literally I think... going around winding everyone up tonight. Four or eight a.m. Callum is in the diary room talking about his mum. You guys pulled a fast one on me. Seeing my mom walk through the uh, door, I was like, "No, nah, there's no way. There's not. It's not a chance in hell. That's my mom." But oh my god, that's my mom. Uh, at first, I was like, "Oh, what is this experience gonna be like?" Because I know what it could be like. It's funny because this time around I came in and I was like, oh, I could go a bit more wild and I could be a bit more loose. And I mean, I still can in ways, but I just thought, Jesus, my mother's there to watch the whole thing unfold. I'm a real big protector of my mother. You know, I, I really, on a day to day basis, want to make sure she's okay and everything's fine. I don't like when people talk ill of her, as you can imagine. I don't lose my temper often, but when I do, it, it, that kind of thing could make me lose my temper, which I hope doesn't happen, but. This is stopping me from wanting to take four shots of whiskey and go be a flirt, but it's cool. Hmm. Um, I think. Colleen and Nicola are talking about Angie. I'm not sure Angie's gonna hate it. It's a weird one, that. Um, yeah. I feel like she's hating it already, like, what am I doing? Well, I feel like it's... Not really for her. That's what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean in a nasty way. I just think, no, she's is she so thinking, lovely. She's lovely, but I'm thinking, is she thinking, oh, God, what have I done? Yeah. Well, let's hope she doesn't. You never know. She... I don't think she'll walk. I don't think she's a quitter. No. I don't think Callum would let her. No. To be fair, everyone seems lovely, don't they? I mean, Spider, especially him, he's a wind-up. He's a wind-up. I, I actually really like him at the moment. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I really do. Stacey seems a bit on... She'll be unbalanced, I unbalanced. think. Unbalanced. Yeah. She's very yeah. teary and very emotional and already. Yeah. Sorry to be a pain. I mean, I know it's been hard for her because she's literally come in and had to do that, so it's not a good start. Are you start. all right, babe? When we go in the shower, what do we do with our sound and things? You can just put it on just the side. On, yeah. And how do you get in the shower? It's blocked, isn't it? So what I'd do if I was you, I'd get in, throw take your, clothes, your out. clothes off, then throw your clothes out. Over. So if I go in with my pyjamas on, I'll yeah. then take Before... the towel with me. Yeah. 
put it over the door. Yeah. yeah. And then come out with a towel on mm. and then yes. somehow manage to put my pyjamas on without anybody looking. We're going, going, the going to the toilet to do that. Oh, yeah, there's no cameras in there. <laughs> I know, it's a mission. It's, it's hard to get your head these around, are the but things then it's you'll easy. Be, these are the things you'll really appreciate when you get home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is a palaver. Um, we're not being funny. It ain't, you know, it's a game. We're not in a. They're not putting us in a five-star hotel. No. Don't miss Danny Dyer and Craig Revel Horwood for an unforgettable lip sync battle. New Friday at ten. And stay right there for a different side to one of our housemates next on Channel Five, as Colleen Nolan reveals all in therapy.